Hello everybody and welcome back to our tips and tricks series of the two video clips. My name is Michael Quincy Strutman. I'm from Tech Support here at ME Lighting International. We've had a few questions about the fixture sheet or about the view onto your fixtures and this is what we want to talk about today. So of course you've got your symbol view and you've got your sheet view of the fixtures. I like the sheet view a little bit more. For busking this might be good enough but for proper programming you should always go for the fixture sheet or the fixture view in sheet style. Here you can see all parameters of your patched devices like for my spots here. We've showed you already that you can switch off things in here. So let's say I grab all my lights and bring them to full. We've showed you this example already. If you go for the color picker, you will notice that in color picker dot two automatically puts the fixed color wheel to open. That means if you store this as a preset, you always store the fixed color wheel to open when you do a fixed color, a uh, mixed color. And um, of course you can switch, or this is what we showed you already, you can switch this off. This is a function in the fixture sheet, sheet style or in the fixture view, which is really awesome. You have to empty the command line and then you can say off me the fixed color wheel and this will not be stored. But we showed you this already. Another thing we showed you is that you can switch between preset names and real values. This is helpful as well and it's about real values what I want to show you today about the fixture view in sheet style. Let's say you've got a queue list and in queue number two you see that one spot wants to light up the symbol in here and if this spot should be exactly at the same position you can use the fixture sheet as well this is spot number four and you see minus 22.4 degrees is here if this value doesn't come from a position preset how do we make this spot do the same position um, of course, you can go in here and try to fiddle this minus 22. Uh, the, 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 this might take too long. Um, you can do that in the fixture sheet as well. You just select the light and then you do a right mouse click on this cell. If you're an on PC or if you have the, the fixture view in sheet style on the external monitor. If you're on a console, type into this to select this cell and then push the very right encoder. The push of the very right encoder is like a right mouse click. But I can do it on my own PC here. Very convenient to say minus 22.4. And you see they've got a, the very exact position. If you work with media servers, this might be very, very interesting for you. So if you've got hard values, if this comes from a preset, you could simply say this one on the preset and it's done but if you need to have the same values over fixtures these values might come from by hand so not from presets this is a very nice way to do it so just do it for the selection and then you can type in any cell here so i could use this one as well and you can enter for your selection values directly in here. This is our tips and trick for today. Hope you like it guys. Stay tuned. Cheers. This was Michael Quincy Stratman. Tips and tricks for dot two. Speak to you soon. Bye guys.